everybody, welcome back. Northern Lion Place Fall Guys. Consider this my promotion, by the way. Hold on, today's Wednesday? Today's Wednesday? How many Fall Guys videos? If you got a time machine, you go back in time. Team Unity is going to be playing in Fall Guys Twitch Rivals at uh, twitch.tv slash Northern Lion, uh, twitch.tv slash Dumb Dog, twitch.tv slash Michael L. Fox, Fox twitch.tv slash Dan Giesling. Um, we got invited to the second Twitch Rivals for Fall Guys, which is awesome. We're excited to be there, and uh, you, you can watch the VOD at least to see if we have a chance to uh, make it. If, if this is coming out before Friday, which I do not believe is the case, <laughs> but it might be coming out on Friday, in which case at... Uh, 1 p.m. Pacific, you should check it out. Otherwise, we're just playing some Fall Guys, having a good time. And really, this is, today's Wednesday, I got a little time to practice. The scoring system works as such. You make it to the final round, you play in your squad. You make it to the final round, everybody who makes it to the final round gets a point. The person who wins gets an extra five points. So there's nine points per round on the table. The only way you get any of them is by making it to the finals. So consistency is of the utmost importance. We will be going left. I'll tell you, we'll be going left here and not jumping. We will be going center and jumping. We will be going left and jumping. We'll be waiting and jumping. And then the new tech, we did fall there, so our, our chance for a win here is screwed. No, oh, no, wait, wait, wait for it, wait for it. The new tech is you jump right here to get some extra slime speed, and you make it over the top. There you go. That, honestly, we're going to try to keep it entertaining for YouTube, but the number one thing in my head right now is make the final round. We're capable of making the finals consistently. We're capable of winning from time to time. But the big thing is if Team Unity can make the finals as a four-piece, we can... You know, screw over other people to make sure one person on our team wins and we get the extra five. It's called game theory, sweetheart. <coughs> spicy water. Um, so we're gonna... Uh, it's not spicy water, I just swallowed it down the wrong pipe. There's only one pipe, but there's two... It is a fork in the road at the bottom. Um, but yeah, we're gonna. so we're gonna focus on trying just to make it. What do we not want to see if we if we want to make it? We want to see no regular tail tag. Rollout's pretty fine. I'll, I, during rivals, I'm gonna play way more passively on rollout. During this, I'm gonna try to eat people off the edge. We'd like to see like no tail tag, no jinxed, no egg scramble, maybe no rock and roll. But I promise you this: if we make it as a four stack to fall ball, we will not lose. Who wants it? Who wants it? Who wants it? Who wants it? He wants it. We're walking each other, dude! The thing is, who wants it? Who wants it? You wait for your moment, you strike, and you send them. Okay, so that's good. Good Good work, good work. You wait for your moment. You wait for your moment. You wait for your moment. You wait for your mo- I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I didn't mean it. Don't, don't do it. Don't, don't you bump me. I'll bump you. That was a good kill. That was a clean kill. What about you, Pigeon? You want it? You want a taste? 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 You want a... I grabbed the wrong guy. I grabbed the wrong guy. That's fine. 11 of 15 eliminated already. You want a taste? He didn't want the smoke. You want a taste? He, he's still... He's shattered. He's, he's, he's freaked out. Don't go. Go. I meant to push him. Don't go. Go. This is weird. Yeah, I didn't like that at all. <laughs> Still made it, but I didn't like it. All right, keep the juices going. Get get pogged up. Get the blood flowing. Mm-mm. 21 remain. Dude, that's really low for after round two. How does that happen? I guess we had a smaller server, probably. 21 remain. Fruit shoot, fall ball, tiptoe. Jump club. Jump club and jump showdown. I would actually describe them as my my most glaring weakness. I think what I have to realize is that in jump club and jump showdown, if you're great at grabbing and murdering people, do it. 
However, I'm not, and almost all of my... I only consistently die for two reasons on Jump Club and Jump Showdown. Uh, one is being way too aggressive with people. Okay, so this guy's trying to pog me up. One is being way too aggressive with people. The other is um, a jump input getting eaten. There's not a whole lot you can do about a jump input getting eaten. Um, so I really just got to keep myself ahead of the curve from an aggression standpoint. I know it gets eaten when you're like on a, a tile that has like a divider on it or something. But, you know, that's kind of like the cost of doing business. So we're mostly just going to try to keep ourselves sane. Um, and not, not get overly aggressive. And if we can do that, we're going to be totally fine. We're going to be totally fine. Somebody's getting yeeted. Okay. So that leaves 12 people remaining. If 12 people remain, we get 6v6 fall ball. 6v6 fall ball, we win. We get to royal fumble, we crush it. I'm so excited to do what I love competing in, in pseudo esports events. <laughs> I've never competed in a real esports event, but I've been in two Champions of Fire, a Twitch Rivals for Uno, and a Warzone charity tournament against pros where we literally had no chance to win whatsoever. Um, all of it is fun. It's always such a great time. All right, tiptoe uh, instead of fall ball. Seven or eight people will make it, which makes this a very tough, a very tough tiptoe, especially against good people. Um, Seven. All right, five people getting eliminated. This is the threshold from zero points to one point. We out here. So how what how do you play tiptoe conservatively? First off, you get bumped and your blood pressure spikes immensely. Um, I think one of the ways to do it is honestly just to irritate the crap out of people and, and knock them off. We see someone knock us off, we knock them off. Okay, 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 we push. I get it. You know what button the push button is. It had to be done. Okay, we're going this way now. There you go. He's gone. You think we're going straight up, lads? We're going straight up. Just send it. No grabs. No grabs. No grabs required. Good stuff. Relatively conservative tiptoe play, paying good attention, and that's one point on the scorecard. Now, the thing is, even if we don't win the finals... Even if I don't win the finals. The more of Team Unity makes it, the more we can coalesce a strategy around making sure one of us gets to the top of Fall Mountain first. But so far, so good. So far, so good. Alright. Of course, I want the dub. I want the dub. I want that seven-person hex. You love to see it. What do you do in a seven-person hex? I mean, I honestly think the crux of every hexagon game is two phases. The first phase is be higher than anybody else, and the second phase is three phases. Higher than anybody else, outlast the people... Uh, like, a lot of people are just going to die. You're just going to wait for them to die. And then you're going to find the last few remaining. That's no good. That's no good. Um, and you're gonna drop on top of them and make sure that they die. But the other thing is, like, don't get upset, you know? Like, falling early is not the kiss of death. We've won so many games after we've fallen early. Careful, don't- you don't want to double back too much. Sir, we don't need to fight, okay? Which way are you going here? You son of a gun. You son of a gun! Okay, that's- that's just, it happens on Hexagon sometimes. We don't sweat it. We want, we want to create a situation now where the people on top fall through the bottom. So we're not fighting. Like, we, we have no reason to fight with one another. We could leave some space for us to get out of here. That would be optimal. We're in a bad spot. We should not have abandoned our boy. We still got some runners down here as well. Right now, I would say, you know what? We got we got some aggro runners. Just be smart. It would also be really nice to leave us ourselves a path. Dude, this horse, he's a real piece of work. He's he's outplaying me. That's the scary part. He's outplaying me. Okay, I don't I don't want to stay near him, 
I think his aggressive style is going to make a lot of enemies. So I think it's important that we stay on our own little island. I think it's also very important we go to his little island, make it impossible for him to come to our little island. Nothing has ever felt as sweet as screwing that guy's game up. Hate to see that. Um, so the bottom is still a total cluster here. We just want to stay alive. You know what? We got to screw this guy. We're screwed. We need them to fall. We're not that... Well done, honestly. We made it to the top three. We only lost by like two seconds there. The horse won. They played a good game. We played a good game too. We made some mistakes on Hexagon, obviously. We played a pretty good game though. I'm not disappointed with that one. Honestly, the, the Fall Guys, the skill level of people when they first started playing was like negative 300. Um, people have gotten a lot better. Not at every game. <laughs> people are a lot better at Hexagon than they were like even two weeks ago. Um, and that's that's compromised our win rate, and we've made some mistakes as well. But a lot of Hexagon, I don't want to say it's the luck of the draw, because I think it actually is probably the most skill-dependent final game. Um, but a lot of Hexagon basically comes down to uh, do you and somebody else end up bumping into each other a lot and falling multiple waves? Thus, like, here's the deal. If, if everybody falls two levels below you, they fight with each other, and they keep getting worse and worse and worse and worse, and you're just... Chillin'. Dunka, dunka, dunka. You're fine. So the more uh, the more distance between you and your competitors, the easier it becomes, without a doubt. Alright, so we're going to be going left side. Jump just to get over the donuts there. Um, we're going to be going left side. We're going to be going center. Jump dive. Very sensible, very sensible approach. We're going to be going left. We made it. That's that's the only thing that matters, is that we made it there. We're going to be going center. No speed boost. Beautiful. The, the obstacle course I'm most worried about is gate crash, or uh, door dash. Door dash is kind of a cluster. Whirly gig is uh, automatic, 100%. We will all make it through well. Dan's still got to do his practice. Look, I'm not trying to get on his case, necessarily. Um, but Daniel's still got to do some practice. It's not, you know, me, Malf, and Apollo have all played like 80 or 100 hours of this game, more or less. Maybe Malf's a little bit at like, you know, 40, but... Um, I wonder I wonder how much time I have played Fall Guys. You know what? Let's go check that out. 60 hours. A little bit lighter than I expected, but... I mean, it's a lot for a game that has uh, <laughs> 12 games in it. Um... Man, imagine that. I played five hours, maybe, on average, of perfect match. That's a scary thought. I understand not all the games take the same amount of time. I'm just saying, if you if you split it. We, we probably spent three hours on perfect match alone in the past month. That's funny. But uh, either way. Dan, he just needs a little bit more practice. Um, oh, no, we're all hovering. Okay. I thought this guy was David Blaine. All right. Rollout. I'm a little scared on rollout. I'm not going to lie to you. But not immensely scared. Yo, we almost had a great moment there. It has to be done. Dude, the, I was I was about to lean on the donuts to save us. Astronaut. Okay, he's, he's gonna be mad. Hey, hey, stop it. Maybe he was just being nice. He was pushing me away from the edge. No, French, he's safe, he's safe. You don't want to go after somebody that can't be gotten. You're just making an enemy for no reason. This is our moment. This is our potential moment. Lots of grabbers over here. Wolf. Ooh, I think he lived. I think he lived. No, he's gone. He's gone. We we didn't. We might not have direct. Great kill. Okay, what are you gonna do? That's why on rivals, you know, you might my philosophy on rollout stands. In terms of, like, your own entertainment, you gotta, you know, make it interesting. Because rollout is kind of boring, if not for trying to murder people. 
Um, but on Rivals, we're not making any enemies. We're, we're just platforming. We're staying as clean as possible. The more we can keep our hands clean, slip into the finals, and then ruin people's games. That's the secret. And I, I don't know how many times I need to say it. When people victimize me and they kill me, it's good. That's the spirit of Fall Guys in September. In August, it was <laughs> just happy to be here. September, you got to target some people for deletion. I accept it. The only time I get upset, and I do it to other people too, so I recognize the hypocrisy. The only time I get upset is when somebody grabs me, I die, and they die because they grab me. Then you just go like, come on, man. You're worth more than that. You're worth more than that. You really want to do a one-for-one -one trade? That's how you see yourself as a Magic the Gathering card? You don't see yourself as a Jace the Mind Sculptor? You see yourself as like, I'm a 1-1 one -one Goblin that comes out and kills a 2-1. Well, it's good for your the person that's running your deck, I suppose. You might get a little tempo, but it's bad for the Goblin, which is what you are, you little gremlin. Alright, so DoorDash, we're front row. My DoorDash risk tolerance is, I think you can definitely just try the first door if you're front row and then run for your life. Apollo gave me some, some resin here too. Please, thank God. One is always aim for the least busy door. The other is aim for the middle because if you get stuck at the sides, which I've noticed but never really thought about, if you get stuck at the sides, it can be a disaster. But I really think that this game is really more than anything else at this stage of its life cycle is like don't fall down but unfortunately you don't have too much control over that just get over just get over little Fabergé egg just get over we're, we're gonna qualify this is a qualify position but it, it life comes at you fast in DoorDash dude we, we qualified by like a second and a half <laughs> all right donkey 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 donk 40 remain. Do it. Mm, anybody for a little uh, le 20 v 20 fall ball? I don't have any pull with Media Tonic. They may not know who I am, which is fine. I basically do nothing. This is what I do. It provides a little, it puts a smile on the little egomaniacs' faces every day or maybe a couple times a week, depending on how much they enjoy the content. Um, but it's not like, you know, I'm known it's not like i'm noteworthy but if i were noteworthy if i were timothy the tattooed gamer i would try to use as much pull as possible to get media tonic to rebalance fall ball in the algorithm dude we need more fall ball the people demand like for me anytime there's an even numbered group of people under eight uh, under 19 and they give us tiptoe that, to me, is a failure of algorithm design. When it's an odd number of people, I disagree, but understand. I would rather be on the the uh, the team that has less players, but play Fall Ball instead of Tiptoe. Um, however, I, I get it. But when it's an even number, I'm like, come on, bro. I think we got a Dublinsky there, which is pretty sweet. Can't complain about that. That's not worth any points, unfortunately, but, you know, it's worth the, some mental points. <laughs> I feel good as a result of it. 29 remain. The dream. Here's the dream, okay? Obstacle, 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 fall ball, anything. That's it. That's, that's my... We're not going to get it, okay? Probably most of the time. But if we could get, like, this... Gate crash, hit parade, slime climb, fall ball, anything. That's the recipe for Twitch rivals. Obstacle, obstacle, no disconnects. Obstacle, fall ball, anything. I don't care what the final game is that much. I don't care what obstacle courses there are, although DoorDash is the worst. I don't care what obstacle courses there are, although DoorDash is the worst. It is funny, Murray, and I'm tired of pretending it's not. When I was a kid, I told my friends I wanted to be a stand-up comedian, 
But they all laughed at me. Well, nobody's laughing now. Are they, Murray? Oh, me, my. All right. That's Bernard Sanders as the Joker. Come on, man. Come on. 50, 54. Just, just launch it with 54. It's a 1v53. I could take it. Hit parade. In terms of, like, ease of getting through, I'm telling you. Whirly gig, uh... And Dizzy Heights are automatic passes. Hit Parade and Seesaw are in like the 90% plus range. So I'm happy to see them. The ones I'm most scared about. Team games are like by definition. Team games except Fall Ball are a 50 or 66% chance to make it. Which scares the crap out of me. If we play average. Which, you know, the more, the, the more people are on your team in a team game, the less it matters how you do as an individual. So falling here on Hit Parade is not the kiss of death. Falling here and suffering one more mistake is the kiss of death. Oh, we, we snuck through. We're back. We're following the leader. This is good stuff. I definitely am content to be at the door crasher sale. Just get through. As long as you're through, you're fine. No, you, you can't get hit by those. And by can't get hit by them, I mean we got hit by them. Dude, are we going to win Hit Parade again? No, we came second. But still, I'm like, how did we do that when we fell off the Twinkie? That's amazing. Good moves. Keep it up. Proud of you. Top 20%? A second! It wasn't top 20%. Forty-three remain. Mm, some twenty-one point five per side fall ball, perhaps. Squeep, 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 skadoo, doo, doo, boop. So you you disconnected me. You can make it up to me though by having either a seesaw or a dizzy heights here. Okay, thank you. I love a seesaw. It can be a bit of a disaster, but, you know, for me, this is like the most exciting of all the obstacle courses. Except Slime Climb, which is more exciting. And Fall Ball, but honest, or not Fall Ball, <laughs> Fall Mountain. But Fall Mountain is kind of, it's not exciting because of the course, it's exciting because of the, uh, the, the stakes. Seesaw is like the most dynamic obstacle course. That's fine, that's fine. I, you know, I could have avoided the jump there. I could have avoided the jump. Instead, I didn't. You know what? We want to be on the side with the most people. I know that sounds counterintuitive. But you want to be on the side with the most people because that's the way that the seesaw is going to tilt. Falling once in seesaw is not a death sentence. Falling twice in seesaw is also not a death sentence. Falling three times in seesaw... Now you start to think that that's ruining your life. I'll also tell you, dude, I think that in seesaw... I don't, I don't think that's the right time for us to go. I think on Seesaw, always taking the middle saw when possible. I guess it's not a saw, it's a Seesaw. But always taking the middle Seesaw when possible. It just gives you two options instead of one, right? So, like, why... It, I mean, there's situations where you wouldn't want to if, if it's totally screwed. But otherwise, like, why wouldn't you? Bro, because you, your selfishness is costing us mightily here sir there you go okay we're, we're still fine boys 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 we can't be greedy here we can all make it as long as we're not greedy the the, the trick is at some point you got to be greedy <laughs> you just want to be the first person to be greedy when it works for you okay that was a little close but again like i told you seesaw 90 percent plus qualification rate Again, I do not believe we were top 50%. 31 people made it. We were like 21st, but sure. Or maybe I got a bronze medal in coming in the top 50% because I wasn't very good at it. I don't know. I'd still say a bronze is pretty good. I'll take it. I'll take it. So what is it? 20, 24 or 34? 34. 34. 34. Now that we got two obstacles. Next one, slime climb. The best third obstacle course is Slime Climb. What we do not want to see here is Team Game or Solo Tail Tag. Jump Club is actually fine. I would. This is an obstacle course. It's just uh, symmetrical. 
<laughs> I guess it's not symmetrical, except uh, every now and then. When the green and the pink bar line up. Alright, we gotta wait for 12 people to die. Now remind yourself, there's only three ways to die on Jump Club. You attacking other people, your jump input being eaten, or other people attacking you. We don't have any control over two of those, but we do have control over one of those. How did one person get eliminated already? The thing's moving at like... Zero. Sometimes people try to tell you the strat for Jump Club. It's always very scary for me that people think that there's like resin for this game. You really just gotta jump over the green bar. I'm not saying we've never screwed it up. I'm just saying the odds of screwing it up are relatively low if, if, you, if you know what you're getting yourself into. I'm just like, you're watching people like run, but not jump. All right, the guy who tried to kill us almost died. That was scary. Honestly, I would give us a pretty good chance of dying in the future. Guess what? Silver, silver and blue. 7104. Get ready to eat my rear rockets. This will probably be tiptoe. Somebody at the door? Allow me to check. There is, indeed. It's food. Poggy. Block party. You love to see it? Kind of. I Again, block party is kind of like jump club. The only way you lose on block party is if you attack other people and get screwed, you get attacked by other people and get screwed, or a jump input gets eaten somewhere. I gotta sneeze. 7104. I see you. I see you. Wow, you, you can tell this guy, he's like, he's played too much Fall Guys. You see the way he's trying to keep his momentum going by like, you spin in a circle, that way when you bump into people, like you ruin their lives more. Oh, sorry. Did I scare you? Sorry, Peabody. It, it was a mistake, I didn't know what I was doing. See, that when you spin, that's how you recognize a great Fall, uh, fall Guys player. Or somebody who's, uh, you know, they're, they're in it to win it, let me put it that way. The spins are like the number one way to preserve your momentum and thus give people a great eating. I think the best way to eliminate people on this game is wait till somebody else gets grabbed near the front and then double up on the grab so your momentum gets uh, like duplicated and they get shot into outer space. So nobody eliminated so far. Very common. No complaints. Still nobody eliminated. Well, you see the the yeet there? I'm telling you, dude. We, we got some tryhards in here. Myself included. Okay, things are about to get very, very difficult. Uh, that's bad. We're safe. You gotta get up there, though. You gotta get up there. That was a great recovery. I'm, I'm pretty happy with myself. Oh my god, move. Oh my god, move. Okay, okay. Seven of 19 eliminated. So I'll tell you, that's Fall Ball City, dude. 6v6 Fall Ball. Doing not under any circumstance. Well, it's, uh, you know. Maybe we would actually... 5v5 Fall Ball. Maybe we would actually like um, to be in the finals because that means we get a point in Twitch Rivals, which is, you know, invaluable. But I also like to play Fall Ball. So, I really like to play Fall Ball. I like to hit the ball. That's fine. Fall Mountain, I have a very... I've, I codified my strategy for Fall Mountain. No matter what, you always take center and then right because the ball... I would say 80 to 100% of the time, the right whirly gigs get opened up before the left ones. So I think right just gives you the best chance. And then don't get hit by a ball. That's that's pretty much the strat. We fell. That's bad. But it does give us more time to plan. Sometimes you can get hit by the whirly gig and it'll like give you some next level momentum. That was super lucky. We basically saw the matrix. 
So now you gotta you gotta focus on these balls, dude. Don't get creamed. So far, this looks pretty good. Oh, I didn't realize we had one so close. We're gonna have to wait this one out, unfortunately. You gotta keep your momentum. We went too far back in keeping our momentum, but you know what? Lesson learned nonetheless. Good run. And your, your daily petition to uh, make Fall Mountain longer. But for now, thanks for watching. Hope you guys have enjoyed it. If you did, click the like button. Made the finals twice. Got yeeted once. And the server yeeted us once. But it's still a pretty good game. For now, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. Got an alt tab here. See ya!